Yes, I am here to show you the second part of uh, the... This is the second part of the class that uh, I uh, had with our colleagues from the Nellis course and I recorded just the first part and I am going to show you some discussion about the online or not online question. There's a middle, we are in the middle of this discussion. You can see the um, Diana in webcam because I had to turn off my camera um, due to very bad bandwidth, very bad connection. So she was very nice and she accepted being here in the web as a human being because I said we need some human being here. We are not a virtual teachers, we are real people. So, and this is, as you can see in the chat box, uh, the discussion was very nice and uh, people from all over the world uh, were here and we had people from Kenya, from Australia, from Portugal, from uh, I believe Greece and from the States and from Ukraine and from Poland so it was a nice meeting and the topic was how should we teach in future and what to do to be a good teacher so let's listen to the real conversation and I'm sorry about the quality but I'm doing my best, in fact, here. Okay, and uh, when, where, how and why? This was my question. And uh, how about this active learning? How do you manage? to change the passive learners into active learners. Because there are so many theories, so many approaches, but I'm talking to you, you're here, you're present. I would like you to tell us what are your methods to activate your learners. Okay, who is going to uh, talk to us? No. On the method, on the what? teacher and the way the teacher communicates with the um, students. But how about the ebooks? What's your point? Oh, we can see John. I have a seven year old granddaughter who loves activities on like clothing, also exercise in reading and spelling, loves books and is reading. Ah, perfect. So, okay. So, we are, we are all in the same direction. The, so, we do not want to give up our face-to-face -face meetings with students, but also, at the same time, we would like to take advantage of the new technologies. Okay, and uh, when, where, how, and why? This was my question. And uh, how about this active learning? How do you manage to change the passive learners into active learners? Because there are so many theories, so many approaches, but I'm talking to you, you're here, you're present. I would like you to tell us what are your methods to activate your learners. Okay, who is going to uh, talk to us? Norbert can't, John doesn't want, Fernanda, you got your mic, and Gary, you, you have your mic too. Let's just exchange our ideas, because this is about debate, 
the teachers. And I also look at this uh, picture, it's about the brain, the overusing computer uh, could damage our brain. And we know about that. So we have to be aware of the fact that computer, yes, but how many hours do we sit by the computer and do we uh, um, work on the computer? No, John, can I, you, you want to talk? Can I say, Go ahead. So uh, you reminded me by, by this uh, statement of yours about damage. Uh, you reminded me the talks on, about the radio, about the TV. So we have that in the history when... Uh, so personal feelings. Don't you think how many hours a day are you in front of, of computer I screen? A lot of time. No, I think hours. Yes. How many yes. Hours a day? I don't know. I don't know. But I, I yes. work out. I work out as well, you know, just from time to time. You know, every hour you should spend 15 minutes out of the computer. But this is for adult person. So, of course, you should try to take the child out of the computer, to drag the child from the room, <laughs> to get the child outside. So, but, yeah. How many hours? Wow. Probably 10 hours. Many. Nine, not yes. Today, probably. Yes. 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 The same here. The same here. So where is the time to read the paper book? Where is the time to socialize? To have a real connections? And one more thing. We can more damage to eyes and back than to your brain. I know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This brain, we were... I was in a group of people who were like trying to do some research about the brain and the learning and teaching and things like that. So it was like, yeah, the brain is important. <laughs> Our brain is important. And um, because when I run the classes, the lectures at my university, and I ask my European Union students about online learning and about their knowledge of future classes. And remember, I teach at technical university. So my students are like bachelor degree students or master degree students, sometimes PhD students. They come to Poland to finish their education. And I ask them about that and they say no. What do you answer, please? Okay, we can do the pool here. Talk with this pooling thing. Uh, yes, I am uh, I stopped this and look at those uh, pictures. Uh, what's wrong with the first picture? Because I don't see anything wrong with this picture, even though the kids are sitting in the row and they, they can see just the teacher in front of them as a leader. And this was uh, supposed to be the bad traditional settings. The bad traditional settings, but I don't see anything wrong with this because kids seem to be uh, happy. And the other picture is more modern maybe. And what is your class settings, for example? Because I will show you my class settings. I will show you my class settings. Okay, we got here. A, okay, again. Picture one. This is not a traditional, right, setting. Because they seem to be discussing. They are 
like face to face and uh, there is a very nice atmosphere and connection between them and uh, and this picture <laughs> this is me it's me here sitting on the table at my university and uh, it's not a very traditional way of teaching as you can see and uh, this is what I think is most, the most important to make your students to be interested in the topic. John. Uh, John is writing. It's aha, uh -huh, improving your brains. Yes. Okay, maybe we should. Um, yeah, I know because I was studying from this source. Uh, Jerry is being called away. Okay, bye bye. Thank you for, for being with us. And uh, what is next? The ne next thing would be, but I, I don't have the uh, conversation in the class, which is uh, uh, disappointing a little bit. So only Diana is uh, helping. And uh, if, uh, if this is what I thought would be uh, the conclusion, that uh, this online education will continue. And uh, the classroom teaching will also continue. Uh, because I don't see another different uh, option here. How about you? Diana, you are the youngest. You probably have the, the most uh, modern ideas. What's your point? Uh, so I think that classroom teaching will definitely continue on improving and uh, changing because um, it just have to. I mean, it has to be improved. Improve and uh, it has to be changed because the presentation like kind of teaching is not working nowadays. Um, so now when you have a class of students equipped with uh, iPhones, you know, with uh, touchpad, something like that, and uh, they are not engaged, if they're not interested in uh, your presentation, so you are in trouble. We didn't see you, Susan. I didn't see you for some reason. Now I saw I see you. And uh, yes, Susan, are you accepting the mic? Okay, John, you are you are wonderful. Thank you for the uh, chat. Yes, barriers to e-learning. Okay. So how is it in fact? I, I keep asking you, what what should we do and how should we, we vote for our educational systems? And uh, yes, it's a big question mark. Big question marks. Where is the limit? Where is the limit? And how much can we use this technology? Because sometimes people go over the limits and technology is the most important and the topics, the subjects are disappearing kind of because they play with technology. And, all right, and uh, so Susan, Susan, you got the mic, can you talk? Uh, we didn't hear you. To try again, Susan. Yes, we can't hear you. Susan, try again. Hello? Oh, perfect. Ah, perfect. May I give you... Yes, we can hear you. Yes, yes, yes. And may, yeah, may I give you the camera, please? Uh, Susan? I might, lose, I might lose connection. If, uh, 
because I okay. really, yeah. Yeah, I had to, mm -hmm. I had to close my camera.